Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of Let Us Play Spelunky HD. This is a new episode, that, a brand new episode that we will begin at this moment. And uh, yeah, I have, I'm having high hopes for this one. One of the main issues with this game is that it doesn't really matter how much high hopes you have at the end of the day you are uh, you are entirely dependent on uh, the random number generator that the random number generator will decide how difficult or how easy the levels that, that you, you are going to be facing will be in this game so that really sucks but uh, i really hope that we will manage to make some progress in this video as you probably remember, I did not have that much uh, uh, good luck in the previous videos. I died last video on the temple, but that's because the temple was in was a dark temple, which really sucked, and also because um, oh god, and also because of. Um, Uh, of the layout of the level like uh, I was having really bad luck on that end so sadly the damsel on the, of that uh, of the previous level died because I had to throw her which really sucks like I said the layout of the level really dictates how well you will do or not let's see what we can buy I want to buy the spike shoes the rope can I buy the mystery box as well? I can. We bought the pitcher's meat. And the mystery box. Like, uh, like I said previously, the mystery box is a random item. You never know what's going to be inside of it before you purchase it. So you never know whether the price is worth it or not. Now let's see. There's a damsel on this floor as well, which is always nice. Let's grab her. Actually, let's first deal with the arrow traps to make sure that the arrow traps won't cause us any issues. Because that's my main concern usually. <sighs> the arrow traps in this game are really terrible. Arrow traps usually start around the mines, then they stop by the time you get to the jungle, to the jungle, and then, oh come on, and then they resume when you get to the temple. And they're really fucking terrible, depending on their placement. I hate them. Such a huge passion. So we have the Jedi chest with us at this point. Let's see if we can unlock this. Yeah, we can. We have the Jedi. So that's uh, uh, at least a small piece of good news. There's also the dams all over here. I can buy a kiss from him, but I don't think I want to. Like, uh, kisses from Namsol don't make sense before you get to the level in which you die. You have to die with the Ankh on you, because your level will be reset to 4 after that death anyway. So regardless of how much health you have before it, you will be reset to 4 health when you get revived. So it's usually a better idea to just not have to worry about that at all. Grab the gold bar and let us continue. Excellent. Oh, 
Oh my god, seriously, the goddamn arrow traps are placed so fucking terribly in this game. I'm down to one health just due entirely due to, to, to the arrow traps. I was 5 health at the beginning, and now I'm down to one because of two misplaced arrow traps. Or well placed arrow traps, I guess I should say. Now I have to be super careful not to die to some stupid thing just because the arrow traps hit me multiple times. I, I'm not gonna lie, I hate this. Where are we? One left four. So I definitely need the pace because we won't be getting newer spiders very soon. I kind of want absolutely everything from here. So now we've got 23 bombs, we've got the paste, and we've got some other items as well. But we are low in health, like definitely low. And that sucks. We also didn't set any precedent with Kali, so that she would uh, give us good items. Because we did not get the chance to... We did not get the chance to uh, to get a Kali altar. So there's a beehive on this level, which is quite interesting. No, I do not want to fuck around with that bat. Although I do want to get in here. Oh come on! I have to use two bombs seriously. What the f I did not see that fucking bat. <sighs> do I want to deal with those fucking bees? I guess I do. This is probably a very bad idea. But I did it anyway. That was out of desperation because I had so little health because of the goddamn arrow traps. Fuck all the arrow traps. Just fuck all the arrow traps in this game, man. Just fuck them. Seriously. Can I get to that damsel under two bombs? I don't think I can, so that's not worth it. Let's move on now. We managed to, de to destroy the bees. And now, because we killed the queen bee and got her honey, we, we have five health. So... Our health problems are pretty much mitigated for the time being. And that's important. Pay for your crimes? Yeah, I don't give a shit about you, old man. Yeah, that gold bar isn't worth it. We also triggered the shopkeepers the previous level because I really needed those bombs. We're at 46 bombs now, that's fucking awesome. I really like that. Oh, so it's a Dead Are Restless and a Rushing Water level combined. That's unfortunate. Let's blow that in, uh, section up. Oh, here's the shopkeeper. And the shopkeeper is gone now. Excellent. No sign of the black market though. Which I'm very thankful for. Fuck you. Let's get the damsel and get the heal out. Excellent. I think this should work. Yeah, it did indeed work. Excellent. So, no sign of the black market though. That worries me. Maybe I missed the entrance. I hope I did not. Let's just uh, move on.
this is the last level where the interest of the black market could, could be at. If it's not on this level, then it was on, on a previous level and I just missed it. Oh no, it's on this level. I heard the, the Ujedi blinking. We are on the right track, baby. That gives me hope. Oh god, there's a shop. Ah, but it's got a pitcher's metal over there. I don't really care about the pitcher's metal. Is the interest of the black market in this side? I don't know where it is. Where is the black market? I don't sense it. Or is it up there? I feel like it's up there. I think I see it. I think I see it. Oh, this is gonna be a terrible mess. Yeah, it's over here. It is over here. Got it. Let's move on. We, we managed to get inside the black market. Now it's all about survival. Hello, bitch! Time to make friends. Fuck you, frog. Who invited you here? Oh, baby. We just uh, uh, crashed their fucking party, baby. And you know what? I don't regret it one fucking bit. Fall down. Uh, he won't fall down, will he? Ah, uh, but now he doesn't have the shotgun anymore. Oh my god, he, he, he got the freeze ray. Oh my fucking god. That's not much better either. Let's move around. I don't want to deal with that fucker just like that. Fuck off. Yeah, much better. Let's destroy the tiki trap first because that's enough. Oh my god! Fuck! Fuck! Go down, please. Not going down. He is not going down. Fuck you. Fuck you, you piece of fucking shit. Whew, that was hard. Let's make sure we don't fuck around too much. Yeah, fuck you, two frogs. And there's some mess going on on that side we will incinerate every everything and everyone in our paths because I feel like it yeah baby we're gonna be making progress we're gonna be doing just fine oh shit that was dangerous Fucking bat. Who, who the fuck invited you? Okay, we survived the black market. We got the Ankh. We can proceed to the ice keys. The hardest part of the game is over now, I think. Now it's all about the, the up getting to the right level and dying there. Now, I would really like a chance to get the Coppola. Sadly, we just got unlucky with the level generation and we did not find any level with a carry altar on it. So that sucks. But you know, 
we can't do much about that sadly so we have to make progress either way where's the exit oh god i hate this fuck you you bitch you think you can stop me? Think again. I've got 86 bombs, you bitch. <laughs> I can blow your ass up whenever I feel like it. I'm the I'm the true terrorist of this world. Fuck y'all. I can do whatever the fuck I want. Okay. God, that felt nice thing. Let's get the damn zone i i i'm i'm already at six health and like i said extra help won't matter because when we will die with the ankh on us and we'll be revived because of the ankh we will be reset to four health regardless of how much health we previously had so it's not going to matter much the fact that we'll we'll get to that level with seven hearts we'll still be reset to four hearts at the end but you know what just for just for peace of mind that we won't uh, uh, die very easily until then at least excellent nobody can stop us now is this the level with the head statue on it usually it's not but i want to be sure Yes, it is the level with the head statue. This is two, 3 slash 2. Usually it's 3 slash 3. So at this point, I'm surprised that uh, the head statue is, uh, is this early on in the game. But either way, it's not an issue. We can adapt. So, since the head statue is, is on this level, we mean, it, that means we have to die on this level. So I don't have to worry anymore about uh, surviving that much but it also means that we have to get the damsel and get her to the exit because that just means that we will be able to no to get an extra heart at the end so the something happened with the shopkeeper here i don't fucking know what but something happened yeah now we're ready to die let's just die Now I wish I could get out of outside of here and grab that shotgun that's next to the to the head statue, but sadly I cannot. So let's just proceed to the next level. Okay, now every single heart, extra heart that we get will count. And look at that, we have a Kali altar. Let's hope we also have a damsel on this level. One of the unique things about the ice keys levels is that they don't have any unique condition. Basically, the, the ice keys. Uh, oh, there is a damsel on this level. I just heard it. Basically, the ice keys don't have a, a dark level equivalent or anything like that. God damn it! Which is always nice. So here's the damsel. I will sacrifice it to the Kali altar. You might say this is a bit late in the game to do that, but uh, I genuinely want to do it. We got a compass which will point to a, a point to the end of the level every time from now on. Now we can sacrifice these yetis as well. I don't know how much they're worth though. I don't think much because we're killing them. And dead things are usually worthless to Kali than live ones. But let's just try it anyway. Did that Yeti just die? Oh, that's a crate. I like crates. We got the extra ropes from the crate. Hmm. No, you shall not, you bitch. I 
an extra body to give to Kali. We might never get another Kali altar for the rest of the game. So I'm trying to maximize my influence with Kali as much as possible right now. That's what I'm trying to do. Sadly, it might not make that much of a difference though. There we go. Now, we've got a shopkeeper over there. Fuck you, you bitch. Oh my god, really? Fuck you. I'm not dealing with the ghost because of you. Fuck you. So, we did not get the Coppola. That sucks. Really wish we did. Oh well, let's move on. We get another Kali altar. This might be the the breakthrough that we needed. No! No! Oh my god, you stupid fucking... Okay, so the UFO just blew up part of the Kali altar. That really fucking sucks. Because now our, our, our progress with Kali, oh fuck me, just went to hell. And god damn it. Yeah, everything went well until we got to this level. This level just fucked us. The UFO was the beginning, but yeah, the, the shopkeeper wasn't that much better either. <sighs> okay, thank you very much for watching.